good evening uh, welcome to the programming the blogspot.com uh, today i will show you how to uh, count uh, list box and the drop down list item so uh, first of all i will to add uh, item in the list box as well as drop down list so first of all uh, add a web form in the solution explorer or you can say your websites and drag uh, both items that is uh, list box and the drop down list in default.aspx page from the toolbox so uh, we have many items in the toolbox by using drag and drops we can add items in the design page yeah they are list of items but uh, tutorial uh, is related to count list of items which is available in uh, drop down as well as list box so first of all add item in the drop down list by using the item collection editors you can add items uh, using code file that is the single line that is uh, drop down list one dot items dot add mm, also add item in the list box edit items java php asp dot net c sharp plus plus that's fine okay now uh, in the <coughs> how to count it so add a button to count the uh, number of items in both collections in the text you can add count items when we click on the button it should return counting value of both collections so you can do this by using the for each loop as well as uh, for loop but uh, here we have a, a single property that is count through which we can count the total number of items in the collection in normal logics uh, we will used uh, for loop and the for each loop uh, and count the how many uh, times the for loop is run so that is the value uh, which is available in the for uh, drop down list as well as this box but uh, here we have a property uh, to directly we can count the uh, total item in the drop down list and the list box actually uh, this is the property of the list item through which we can count the total number of items so drop down list one dot items dot count that's fine uh, similarly uh, for doing this uh, mm, list box Label one dot text total items in list box list box one dot items dot count yeah now save it and run your application in browser. your output and browser and mm, 
so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my own other video tutorial which is related to usb.net and i'm sure i will provide i will provide you a better tutorials for asp.net and c sharp so thank you thank you very much again